Do you have your house money saved in certain investment vehicles like mutual funds or maybe it's a T or price, Vanguard, something like that, Fidelity? Or you're with other companies that are investing for you, such as a money manager, one obviously, uh, financial managers, and other vehicles like online portal, other ones that invest for you in certain mortgage notes, they kind of crowdsource, there's all these new online platforms. I've invested in some of them myself, done pretty well. Uh, but I want you to watch out and question where it is, especially if it's your house money. So if you're renting right now and you want to buy a house, I want you to take these this extra little snapshot in your mind. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Real Estate Minute Show. Thanks again for your time today. So I want you to question where your money is, especially again if it's part of your house money you've been saving to put down on a house to purchase. I had a client uh, three weeks ago who came to me and stuck his uh, money that he was saving for a house into about three different online vehicles. I'm not going to say which ones they are because I don't want to get involved in you know certain types of defamation. So he had some of his house money or most of it invested and he thought he was diversifying by having it in three different spots and two of the three over the last two years have fallen into bankruptcy. Okay that doesn't mean he's going to lose all his money it just means he's tied up now with his housing money. Um, terrifying right to think about that Something that is so strong, so just, you know, you think is just rock solid can just kind of slip. Doesn't mean the world's coming to an end. It just means that you might not get all your money back. You might get some of your money back. You might lose it all. Okay. But in a lot of cases, you'll get some of it specifically, specifically depending on really where the money is and what it's collateralized by. So for instance, I mentioned this company called Pierce Street, and I'm going to call them out because they are publicly in bankruptcy now. And I personally had this experience. I had their platform of many that I've invested in that essentially crowdsource commercial mortgages. So a guy's looking for a million dollar apartment loan. They put it on the Pure Street platform. Pure Street raises the million dollars through a bunch of different people. They close on the loan and we get partial payments on that loan like we're my miniature lenders. Cool concept. Uh, neat. Didn't want to put the whole farm in there, but put some money in there. And all of a sudden, boom, Pure Street goes into bankruptcy. How would Pier Street go into bankruptcy? Well, there's a lot of reasons for it, but it's really the kind of the destruction of the commercial mortgage uh, uh, area uh, arena right now, I should say. It's very, you know, it's still slightly robust, but it's very expensive to borrow money right now, as you can tell with mortgage rates. Same applies to commercial, and that's what kind of started just crushing platforms like that. Now my money's tied up there. It's not my house money, but it's money that I can play with, and it's tied up there, and it'll be there for probably a year. And I don't want that to happen to you. So I want you to look at where your money is at your saving for a house. If any money for your house is in there, okay, or for home improvements, if you already own a house and you've been saving up, uh, question it, look at it, do research, talk to the representatives over there, find out how stretched they are. Straight up ask a question. I asked a question to somebody that worked at Pier Street. Are you guys headed for bankruptcy? Because I'm seeing things like they're starting to freeze programs on the account. Are you starting to file bankruptcy? Are you getting prepared? Uh, she says, no, we're not, but we're having some issues. Okay, bing, I probably should have pulled the money out, but I got busy. Um, and I want you to do the same. I want you to question everywhere your money is right now, specifically if it's house cash. All right, take care. We'll see you next week.